Big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there to my channel, The Twin Flame Union. And it's raining channelings. These are all the pending channelings that were uh, not being able to share, relay by me for the past so many days. So I'm trying to relay as many as I can in all of this time. Uh, but these channelings are very positive, very uplifting. And I'm constantly being shown communication, contact, a lot of loving confessions, a lot of understanding. And I know there is a reason behind it. First of all, the reason is 2020. And this is the such a phase of 2020 that has globally affected all the energies. And this was again predestined. And then we are also approaching 21st of December, which is a very important time for um, the whole planet's ascension, the energies, because the two planets that would be coming in conjunction are Jupiter and Saturn. And both these planets are good planets, like planets of goodness, planets of love, planets of discipline. Though I know Saturn has received a sort of a bad name in the Western world. But if you ask an Indian person who has studied astrology, who has studied Vedas and who who is generally uh, studying uh, Hinduism, Sanatan Dharam, we for us, Shani is actually Shani is Saturn's Hindi name, Indian name. Shani is basically a god of discipline and he also teaches people via karmic lessons. So if you are a bad person and you're going through the time frame of Saturn, or even if you, even if I don't use the word bad person, if you're doing many bad actions, wrong actions, evil actions, hurting, hurtful actions, then Shani or Saturn is going to punish you. But for people who are on a good path, on the path of source, the same time becomes a time of auspiciousness, of abundance, of joy. It's like um, Shani is very, very good to people who are connected with the source energy. So when these two planets and Jupiter, of course, is, is Guru in Hindi, and we know how important Guru is in our ascension journey. So these two planets coming together and forming a conjunction is a very important phase for planet Earth. And this is actually leading to a lot of uh, clearing of energy for a lot of twin flamers out there. And plus, a lot of twin flamers have also been in this journey for a long time. I'm not uh, one of those people who says that twin flame union can happen in three months or six months. Even those who enter a union phase or a final stage of the union in three months or six months, even they have gone through something, you know, in the past few decades, at least two decades are required. So uh, let's get started for this channeling. So I'm being shown that there is a divine masculine and divine feminine couple. Actually, I don't see one, I see three couples and three very different types of couples. It's like, uh, Every couple is not the same. There are There is a couple who is a very shy couple. Then there is a couple who is a very naughty, mischievous kind of a couple. Then there is a couple who is very talkative type of a couple. There is Then there are people who are, you know, but there is, there is obviously love between them. And I am talking about people who are very pure energies. I am not talking about fake people. So if they are shy, you know, there is that is their nature. Or it could be such that one person is very talkative and the other doesn't talk at all. That type of dynamic is seen a lot in the twin flames, like the feminine is very talkative, very chirpy, and the masculine is a bit serious, but then he enjoys her cuteness. And I'm also being shown that some of the divine masculines who are not in contact. So just in case you're not in contact, they are really missing your cuteness, missing your cute talks, cute talks, you know, like the way you pull their leg or the way you would dress up or there is a level of cuteness in this particular divine feminine that I'm just talking about. And then there are these three and in different places and different parts of the world, they are connecting and meeting. Some are meeting on, uh, on water, some are meeting on land, some are meeting on air. When I say air, I don't mean birds. I mean, they are probably in an aircraft and they're traveling to some place together. So some are meeting in a garden like place. So there are different places where these couples are meeting and they are confessing their love for one another, which had been pending for a long time because both of them, like I'm talking about individually now, individually, each couple, all the couples have gone through their phase of separation, difficulties, running and chasing and not, uh, 
you know not been easy for them so finally when they are realizing how much they love each other they just cannot control themselves and they are just telling each other how much i love you and this is not like i, I won't say these are conventional uh, ways of telling each other they are very spontaneous ways of telling each other it's like you know hey you know what so what made you think that i was not in love with you like did you really think that i didn't miss you or did you really think that i didn't think about you you know something like that and the feminine would say oh no no i don't care about it and he would say oh come on i know you care about it i know you love me too and i love you and then she would say yeah but i also see one more thing that all of these feminines and i'm going to do a special channeling for this because i have been channeling divine feminines who are really in a very amazing place in their in their lifestyle in their mind they have really they are mastering 5d also because 5d is a place where which happens only after surrender you cannot achieve 5d state without surrender and then you are in a very different type of a bliss you know in a different type of a happiness because you are constantly with the source which means you are constantly in the present moment so when you are constantly in the present moment what happened 2 hours back what happened 2 days back what happened 10 days back or 10 years back it doesn't even bother you so what do you do you are just in gratitude so they are in gratitude and that is being mirrored by the masculine so look at the lovers tarot card the masculine is uh, telling her that you know just when i look at you my heart my heart feels this immense love immense happiness looking at you and i swear i swear upon god i swear upon god that i really love you so much and i was talking about the tarot lovers card uh, in the tarot deck the lovers card is very important card because you would see uh, that this card i've actually uh, received this card in some readings also and um, even when the dm told me that the df and dm have not been in contact for 2 years still the lovers card came as a confirmation in that card you will see the divine feminine is looking towards god or the angelic uh, being basically i think it's god the supreme being according to my reading my analysis but uh, it's an angel and she is completely towards the angel and uh, the masculine is looking at her and the angel is looking towards both of them so this type of uh, dedication she has for the source and as i just said that source is only in the present moment so the moment she is dedicated to the source that means she is present so that is the only thing that brings the masculine close to her when uh, when feminines are complaining and bickering constantly they are basically stuck in the past they are living in with the ghost of the past they are not in the present moment and thus they are separated from the divine masculine energy now here he is saying that you know i swear upon god i swear upon a- any the highest being you know i love you so and he is saying that i can do anything for you i can give my life for you i can give my life for you i i can i can come back to life even even if i'm dead i know this sounds very poetic and he's uh, being a bit romantic but uh, as i said in the age gap uh, audio just now when i made it there are many divine masculines who genuinely start feeling that they are here on the planet only for her only to support her and there is no other basic purpose they have they are just there to support her so whatever good she is doing whatever uh, mission she is on whatever her focus is or wherever she is you know going to save the world i want to go with her i want to be there for her that is my only purpose so that is the level of realization he has now uh, which which wasn't there obviously and by the looks of it or by the feel of it it looks like they live in a place which could be close to a water body it could be a beachy area or it could be a lake or they could just be living in a place where it rains a lot but i do see water this is i think also symbolic of telling the channeler that you know in different parts of the world where there are different uh, climatic conditions or different regions people are uh, connecting and people are uh, getting into this vi- kind of a vibration where of one love one love is all we need so yes now when he when he makes this confession of love to her he also sort of uh, anticipates that she will also say it so and she is just 
see when you are in the state of love uh in your brain also a lot of chemical uh chemical process i'll just explain it to you how it happens in a chemical way in your brain and then what is it spiritually meaning you must have heard the chemical called oxytocin which is in the brain which is found in your inside your head oxytocin signals nitric oxide in our brain and the same nitric oxide then uh, creates or connects with another chemical called endothelial and this is the same chemical that creates relaxation in your brain and if you want to understand more about how love and chemicals work then you can listen to dr joe dispenza's um uh talks i would say talks because he also sort of gives sermons and i really like him uh because he talks about love and faith but he also talks about the scientific uh understanding of it so he is basically one of those people who's who's a spiritualist but he also was earlier a scientist who was studying brains and from that he realized that there is something else happening even these chemicals are connected with love and when i say love i mean one love real love unconditional love when endothelial derives the relaxing factor in your brain and when you are relaxed and you must have heard it in many uh of my sessions also where i say relax and chill and let go it's because that causes the arteries in your heart and in your lungs to open up you know and now this is a scientific thing okay that i'm talking about but if you read if you go very deep very very deep into the chakra study then you would know that there are also our nadis and there is something called sushumna when the energy flows into the chakra system from from, from bottom to top then your nadis also relax nadis open shushumna opens and then the energy goes to the crown now obviously it doesn't happen in one day because a lot of people think that it should happen in a 3 months to inflame crash course <laughs> that's not how it works but yeah of course when you are listening to my channelings because there are few channels i have noticed there are very few in fact maybe just a few who are doing channeling so people who are in the final stages or people who are even though they are very young they could be like very young right now 20 years old or in their 20s but they are they are from the third wave of volunteers so they are very advanced souls so they are in the twin flame journey at a very young age then there are people who got into the twin flame journey uh ever since they are born obviously we are all in the twin flame ascension journey but they realized about this a 10 years back or they met the divine masculine 10 years back 12 years back 15 years back and then it has taken them that much time those who are young and in separation they also pretty much understand these things in a great detail they just know it they just resonate with it they just researched it they just found it out somehow you know they just landed on this information so when you're relaxed and when you're in the present moment like otherwise you all live most people live as per the five senses that's why a lot of people are very addicted to sex and they're very addicted to pleasures of the body like food or like uh, you know looking good and dressing up dressing up eating food uh, or, or some kind of a, a sensual activity they are, they are all part of your life i'm not saying that they you'll stop doing that completely uh but then you will not be so attached with these things i know people who go on water fast for 10 days for 12 days for 20 days they have not eaten anything for a week they have not eaten anything and they are full on they are full in energy you will look at them and you'll be like hey what are you doing like how come you're living like this they are like mm, i'm just doing it because they just program their mind in such a way that they're constantly relaxed so when you are uh, you know when your five senses like if you if your five senses are strong then how you feel uh, when you meet a person who arouses sexuality in you like a feeling of intimacy in you there is some kind of a energy that secretes that is a very bodily energy now when this type of energy is uh, is uh, activated in your body then it is 
in your brain in fact not even in your body it, it and it is connected with your mind how you think then these chemicals these chemicals secrete on their own and they are not like drugs like what do drugs do the chemical drugs they also create the same effect but it always comes with the downer it always comes with a bad feeling it always comes with addictions because that is basically artificially created by an external object but imagine if you can create the same thing on your own the same feeling what what is it then it is it is amazing isn't it that's why you can always be high without even trying i'm always high and i don't even try i'm always high and i don't even try so the feminines are basically the feminines that i'm channeling they are in that feeling they are in the zone they are so present that this feeling when you're so relaxed and when your brain is creating uh, these chemicals then you are in the state of unconditional love and when you are in the state of unconditional love it is impossible to hold a grudge now how does this work i'll tell you uh with people that you don't really need in your life so there are people who are not in your frequency okay but when you are practicing being in the present moment now you could have any technique trust me and i know this by personal experience you could stumble upon any technique that will help you be present and help you release your fears and help you release your blocked energies now when you are able to do that then you are in the state of unconditional love which is the present moment and when this present moment first you'll be there for a small tiny moment then it will increasing to more moments few seconds more a few seconds then mu few mu few minutes i mixed few and minutes so it became mu so few minutes and then more than few minutes and then say 20 minutes and half an hour and this time you know keeps increasing and even if you feel it for few moments once you touch upon it you know you know once you touch upon it you can't go, go back you never cannot go back it's just impossible to go back so in that state of mind you cannot hold any grudges all the past grudges all the anger all the resentment you can't hold that it is impossible when in your you're constantly in the present moment you don't know like what happened 10 years back what happened 15 years back but your divine masculine is not one of those people who is below the frequency he is also from your same frequency he has the same dna construct so he will be in your frequency and those people who are below your frequency all the people that you have removed from your life they'll automatically go off because the frequency match is like a radio dial anything that is not in the frequency will not be visible to you will not be audible to you as simple as that they will continue to live their life they will continue to exist in their own worlds and you will be in your own world even if they are in front of you even if they are passing you even if in some cases they are living under the same roof you will not really get affected by them at all so uh when the divine feminines i told uh some of the divine feminines in one of the channelings that you have to uh, mentally disconnect even if you're living with some narcissistic people in your own house or very selfish people in your own uh, you know bloodline or your biological cycle circle then before you do a physical movement physical physically moving away you have to do a mental moving away now that also happens by these practices these mental techniques so even if they are living in the same house under the same roof they will not have any impact on you you will continue to do your own things and your frequency will keep on you know being more solid your vibration will be so raised that they will be compelled to leave you alone and they will be compelled to move away from you and you won't even feel bad about it you will have your own you you will have your source you have source what do you need man you don't need anything there's nothing in the planet that you will need ever if you have source and source will be do, doing everything for you so this is the situation that she is in and while being in that when he says do you love me i love you she says yeah i love you she is in the state of love right love is everywhere and i'm not saying it to demean the masculines or demean or condescend their love it's not like she's saying it in an arrogant way she feels the love 
she doesn't feel the anger or she doesn't feel anything and if by chance by anything she gets angry or upset she knows very well how to express it earlier she could not express it let me tell you this whole chaser runner dynamic how this works these are all very in depth things by the way if you understand it just by listening to it then also you will gain a lot a chaser is only a chaser when they have blocked energy so for example the masculine does few two three mean things chaser cannot say anything because they have the fear that they will lose that person so they continue to please them by doing that they keep on piling up the energies that are otherwise supposed to be vented out they don't vent it out on the right time they keep taking it and then one fine day they do a volcanic eruption and the masculine goes crazy like oh my god he gets scared he gets freaked out and then she says you know this has been uh, piling on my my chest for like so many days i've been carrying it like a baggage for two months three months six months i can't take it anymore so when that volcanic eruption happens he feels very sorry but she is not trained mentally to sustain it so she starts getting scared oh my god i should not have said it i should not have reacted like this or i should not have responded like this later on you'll understand that reaction is not even needed you don't need to do anything as i said when once you have the source you don't need to do anything so nevertheless she have this fullness in her heart she has this she is no longer scared to be intense like how she used to be very guilty for being emotional for being uh, intense for having a cause having a mission or having a emotion for say a hungry child or a animal she doesn't care now she is like yeah even if he is not there because she's learned to live alone those who learn to live alone and those who are very happy alone they don't actually genuinely they don't need anyone and when you don't need anyone when you stop running or chasing that's when things come to you so that intensity and that fullness in her heart in her soul that is the thing that attracted him in the first place and now when she brings it back earlier she was doing it unknowingly now she's now she's aware that i have to be like this and i i will be like this nothing can stop me no one can stop me from being who i am so being in that state of mind you know where oxytocin is releasing on its own it's it's like you have a in in urdu there is a word called surur if there are there are any indian or people from indian subcontinent who know urdu or hindi would know khumari surur nasha nasha is like uh, intoxication but it is not that type of intoxication it's the intoxication that shiva feels you know that's why shiva is uh, connected with cannabis and he is connected with dhatura these are all plants uh, you know that are very intoxicating but they don't have a bad intoxication they have very mild very relaxing very soothing uh, very fuzzy feeling you know so that's why he is connected with those plants so when the oxytocin is released when you're in the present moment you're always relaxed then it is impossible it is impossible to be upset for things it is impossible to be angry uselessly angry it's impossible to hold a past grudge so that is why you know you forgive people who probably someone molested you when you were a child and you've carried it for like 12 years 13 years and because of which your sacral chakra is blocked or maybe 20 years you know you were in relationships where were which were sexually very abusive basically repeating the same energy you were carrying that energy you know now you don't want to carry that energy anymore you're done carrying that energy so automatically the sacral chakra starts opening up and the energy starts flowing so you are you are going to experience these things if you are not experiencing you will experience but for that even you have to make some effort when you think about your divine masculine when you have all these angry thoughts blame game bickering uh, there is that just try to come back to present moment find something to do that you love that's why when you do something you love it's very easy to come to the present moment you know so i will continue this channeling session in part 2 and part 3 also because i have three uh, dms and dfs and i know there are many connected to this energy and uh, i'm very fortunate to be actually channeling these messages because when i channel these messages uh the universe sends that energy to me and i feel that energy and then i you know have those moments of uh, pure bliss and ecstasy uh, without taking any intoxication like two days back i remember i was like i was walking on clouds i was walking over the moon and i don't even know why and yesterday i was not feeling well 
so i was like why am i not feeling well and then i realized that i was i was actually affected by uh, somebody who i have i am still healing uh, a very uh, you know deep uh, deep trauma deep abuse it has taken me about uh, already 20 years of healing so and it is also like pretty much released you can say only 5 10% is left 15% maybe 10 and every day i work on it like every day i wake up in the morning i wake i wake up and i do the healings so that energy which was and sometimes energies come and go so i had assumed that that energy is completely healed but something happened in my life that i felt that there was that energy so i was not feeling well but two days back i was feeling um, uh, you know completely high constantly high for 24 hours i would say and today again i'm in that zone because i realized i could pinpoint oh so that is the feeling that is making me feel like this okay so i got to be come back to the present and i have to release it i cannot hold a grudge <clears throat> i cannot feel bad i have to let those people go they were they were there in my childhood, they abused me, they traumatized me, now they are gone. Maybe some of them are even dead. <laughs> they are not even there, they are in the grave. But you know how those people who are dead, when they haunt you, it's basically, they say that you are looking at ghosts or you're looking at these um, souls, departed souls, not even departed, these are um, souls, you know, that did a lot of bad things to people. So when you see, when it's almost like that, I would say, you know, it's almost like that. You're thinking about the same person constantly who tortured you when you were a child. And now after 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, you're still thinking about something that did to you and feeling so bad about it. And it's having an impact on your relationships or you're attracting people with similar, you know, very uh, mischievous. Mischief is a, still a good word, I would say, very problematic energy, uh, very selfish people. So be very aware and uh, listen to these channelings because these channelings always come when an energy download is given to me. So my just my job is to spread it around <laughs> the same download so that more people can download it. So one love and peace out and I'll see you soon.